one more tutorial to explain the break-even analysis with some more details here. So Aman is an online florist. You place an order on the application and he delivers to you. And you have a small warehouse in Delhi, 40,000 per month. So this is the rent that he pays, which is 40,000 and it is paid every month. He has hired an individual for 10,000 a month. So there is a salary component to it, 10,000 per month. A bouquet is sold for 500 each. This is the P price. Let me write it here. P is 500 per unit. Postage and packing is borne by him and a bouquet costs 200 per uh, unit. The cost, this is the variable cost and this is 200 per unit. The packaging and posting cost, uh, this is additional. So let me say other variable costs are 100 per unit. How many bouquets a month should a month sell to break even? Now the dynamics are slightly different. You're saying bouquets a month. Within a month, you have to figure out what is the break-even point. This is true for small value items and also true for, uh, you know, businesses where things move, the sales move very quickly. You have to move the stock very quickly. <clears throat> so, uh, monthly basis, let's say in the month, what are the expenses? So, all the numbers that we use now are going to be monthly. So, the fixed cost in the month, how much is that? The fixed cost in the month is uh, uh, the rent and the salary. Now, any name can be given to the fixed cost, all right? Uh, you have to have clarity uh, to, to know which ones are fixed in that duration of time. So, in this duration of time, what is fixed is rent and salary. The more important point is these things should not vary with respect to the quantity. If you want to sell more bouquets of flowers, will you have to pay more rent? No. If you have to buy, uh, if you have to uh, sell less uh, bouquets, will you pay less money to the person that you've hired? No, you will still continue to pay him 10,000. It's a salary, it's a fixed incentive that you give. If the salary was per delivery, per bouquet sold, then you would count it as a variable cost, all right? So that is what is new in this uh, uh, tutorial. I'm trying to indicate to you that I'm emphasizing that the variable cost varies with the units of the, uh, the quantity of the production, the quantity of the sales, not, <clears throat> not with the, uh, you know, month or not, do not go by the name of an expense, name of the cost. So fixed cost comes out to be 50,000 for that month. So in a month minimum, you have to spend 50,000, whether you do any business or don't do any business, does not matter. Divide this by contribution per unit. What is contribution per, per unit? P minus VC. Price is 500 minus the variable cost. There are two components of variable cost. The first one is the material of the bouquet, which is 200 per unit. But uh, <clears throat> there is also packaging and posting cost, which you have to bear, which increases the per unit uh, cost that you, per unit of the uh, bouquet. So 300 comes out to be uh, your variable cost. So this gives you uh, 50,000 minus 200. So this is 250 units. You have to sell 250 units in a month. Now, if you had more information on what is the uh, in a rate of sales daily basis, how many do you send? You could figure out in how many days will he be able to break even. Uh, but that aside, so in a month you should be able to sell 250 bouquets in order to break uh, even. That's it. If you have uh, you know yearly cost, you could go yearly and say what is my break even point. In this case, we were talking about, you know, monthly basis, if I have to break even, my costs should be recovered. Likewise, you can break down the period and think about the cost which do not vary and figure out the break even point. That's it. I'll see you in the next video.